Hello lovely people, it is that time of the week, it is Thursday, which means it's cheese of the week. And this week we have, uh, we, it, we, it's been a bit of a thing, it's a cheese from Vermont, who knew? We, um, we have road tripped to Vermont a lot lately, um, mostly so that I could photograph things and make pretty pictures. So... We also went up and did a really cool tour at Julie's Fox Hill uh, Kitchens Bakery. We did. So it was pretty cool. It was fun. It was. Um, Fox Hill Kitchens Bakery is in the very tippy top of Vermont, just south of the border. Um, we will link to the video below. We took a video while we were there and it was fabulous. And Julie's awesome. And you should buy her buns and bagels because they are fantastic. However, you could also buy her bread mix and make all sorts of things. Bread, buns, bagels, breadsticks, pretzels, pizza dough, pita, like all the things. So highly recommend that. Anyway, back to the cheese. Today we have, because we've been visiting all these adorable little Vermont villages, and there's a lot of creameries in Vermont. So this is from He Held. Healdville, Heldville, H-E-A-L-D-ville. It's from a ville. It's from a ville in Vermont. And this is Crowley cheese. And the reason this is so exciting is, well, two reasons. One, raw milk. And two, our favourite word associated with cheese, which is... Smoked! Smoked! So... You may talk about life, the universe, and everything while I... Let me give you the label, and then All you right. can talk while I wrangle. So we got another waxed cheese. Awesome. All right, so the ingredients to this is old-fashioned raw Kobe, raw milk Kobe cheese, still made entirely but in their historic Vermont factory using the original recipe. That is awesome. So we have, uh, it's hard to read the, uh, the nutrition facts, but we have serving size is one ounce, eight servings per brick of cheese there. Per serving, there's 110 calories of fat, nine grams of carbohydrates, uh, eight that's grams of saturated high. fat. It is. Zero grams of trans fat. That's good. 25 milligrams of cholesterol, and the price tag is over part of the ingredient thing, so that's always fun. Really, labeler, price tag people, realize that, uh, you know, people are trying to do some videos here, and uh, so, all right, so sodium 170 milligrams per serving, one gram of total carbohydrates, protein seven grams, Vitamin A, calcium, 20% daily allowance, not a significant source of so fiber, sugar, vitamin C, or iron percent daily uh, based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Okay, so. Made with whole raw cow's milk, salt, natural rennet, and culture. And rennet is actually the lining usually to a sheep's stomach where they have these little enzymes that create the... the uh, bacterial cultures that make the cheese. Cheese knife. Yeah. And you will never get it confused because it says cheese. Don't eat the wax. You only have to learn that once. All right. So it's a very soft, creamy cheese. I can feel mm. it. Mm. It's not... Mm. It's almost not a hard cheese. Mm. Mm. They don't say it's cheddar. It's Crowley cheese smoke. It's, it's a Jack. It was on the label. Or not Jack, but um, Colby. 
Mm. It's um, it's almost. I would almost say that's a semi-soft. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's not a hard cheese. The outer layer of the cheese has a little bit of a grittiness from it, but I think that's just the calcium coming from outside the cheese as it's sat and aged. But the inside is extremely creamy. The smoke is definitely there. It's mm. it's it's not it's super strong, but it's it's there compared to one of the other cheeses that we had. Mm. I'm, I'm definitely eating smoke. Oh, I definitely mm. eating the smoke. I'm not saying it's not there, but it's not. One of the other cheeses that we had, it was like all smoke and like barely mm. any cheese with the flavor. Mm. This, you still taste the cheese. The cheese itself is, is very subtle in flavor it doesn't, uh, it's not overpowering, very creamy, nice texture. Uh, be great on some crackers or with a uh, charcuterie tray. Also, it feels like it's going to be a very nice melty cheese yeah. too. So doing it for a cauliflower mac, a burger, or something that you want melted cheese on. Hey, you know what? If you can crisp this up, I'm not sure if you can or not with a Kobe, but if you can grate this up and, and crisp it up, it might make a really awesome taco shell. Hmm. That's really nice. That's really nice. It is. It's very good. It's a, uh, yeah, it's very nice cheese. And that's why we do cheese of the week. Yeah, it's so that everybody can get uh, broaden their cheese horizons and uh, add a little bit of excitement to their meals by changing up the different cheeses that they do. Yeah, if you make a keto mac and cheese with this instead of cheddar, it will be a completely different experience. Completely different experience. So changing up your cheese can transform your keto, your low carb, or whatever in the world other food you eat. Changing up your cheese from the regular cheddar, mozzarella, whatever, can make a huge, huge difference to your enjoyment of your food. You know what else that would be awesome with? I don't. You know your no tater tater au gratin thing that you mm. do in your cookbook? Mm. Having that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Go get yourself, if you can find it, some smoked crony cheese because it is... Delicious. It is fantastic. So there it is. That's all we have for you this week, but we will see you next Thursday for another edition of Cheese of the Week. All right, everybody. See you later. See ya.